Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. Okay, we've just had a raid from two hunters um, just while I was doing a bit of uh, tidying up around the base. Um, basically stood down here, fired a couple of grenade arrows up at me, uh, managed to take one out but the other one did escape so I'm trying to work out which base it was from. I can see one hunter up there and I can see one hunter over there but I don't know. So I think we're going to ignore them today and just let them get on with whatever they want to do. I have a lockpick and I would like to go and try and see if I can find a lock crate and I think I'm probably going to swim over there and have a look over in that direction. But first, I've done a little bit of crafting. I've got the generator on, just to uh, get the power back up and running. I have crafted a mining drill. And if you're not sure what ingredients that takes, it takes some boards, electronics, uh, scrap, and some rope. So I think the best place for me to put this is gonna be down here, nice and safe. Well, maybe not safe, but underneath here, it's well within the bubble. We can reach it. Uh, there will do. Okay. Turn on. So we'll leave that going. We've got the generator running. We've got our wind power, which isn't doing much today. But that means it's probably going to be a decent day, weather-wise. But we've got our generator has plenty of power. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of biofuel in there. Actually, let's pop this on my belt. And we'll reload it as well. I might just put a little bit more biofuel in there and make sure it runs for the rest of the, the rest of the morning. So I don't think anything else is on. No, that's off. Just the fridge on. And we should be good with that. So by the time we get back, that should have gone all the way through. And then we can start extracting some ore, hopefully. Let's have a very quick look at these guys. So, okay, there's a wolf and one hunter. Yeah, I don't think we're going to tell from here. So let's get over over the water. Is that some iron there? I don't believe it is. Let's grab a little bit of iron before we head off. Cool. Okay, so I think this is going to be the best place to look for a lot of crates. We find them over here very frequently. And there doesn't appear to be any robes or anything around. And apart from the two walls either side of my landing spot, I can only see a bear. And that bear was walking towards me, but I think it's turned around now. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. That wolf's coming back. This should be good. Okay, now we've got, had some exciting news in the world of, of subsistence. Um, hopefully you've seen it by now. Um, Cold Games released on his YouTube channel and via Twitter and on Steam. A little preview of the next update and um, it's basically about three and a half minutes of him in an intense battle with some rogues but the interesting not rogues hunters the interesting thing is those hunters are inside a huge base not their normal base so 
Yeah, it looks very interesting. And there's things like, um, I think I've watched the, the video back a couple of times now. If you watch the video very carefully, you can see things like a, a reinforced door, um, like we do with the armor, the alloy plates to armor up the building. It looks like you'll be able to, after the next update, armor up doors, which would be awesome. Because they're the, they're the one big weak point on the base, aren't they? Um, you see him blowing a hole with lo what looks like some C4 or something. Remote detonated um, sticky bomb type thing. You see him blowing up the, uh, the base door. Going inside and uh, having a running battle with um, hunters in the base. And the, the hunters are opening and closing windows and running around up and down stairs, up and down hatches it sounds like at one point. It looks incredible, it's a really good video if you haven't seen it, you should uh, look it up. Um, yeah, so a lot, of, uh, a lot of work being put into that I think. That's why this, this update's taken a little bit longer maybe than most of us would prefer. But uh, with Cold Games' updates, they're always worth the wait, so it really does look good. And I don't know how much work has been done on the hunter behaviour. Um, because at one point it sounds like a hunter comes in through a door. Now whether he comes in from outside, into the base, to come and attack, I'm not sure. I like to think that's part of the gameplay because that would be realistic. But I'm sure the update's not too far away and we'll all be able to see for ourselves. Aha, we have a lot of crates. Yay! Okay, I'm going to have to be careful because this bear is right next to it. We really want him to move away. Let's crouch. Awesome. Right, we've got the lock crate that we were after. Ooh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, I've been tempted to just keep playing, replaying that, uh, that little clip. As I say, it's only about three and a half minutes, but you can really get a feel for the work that's been put into the uh, hunter mechanics. The, the fact that they seem to react so naturally in the uh, in the battle situation looks really good I don't know how I feel about having to go up against so many hun uh, hunters in that base whatever that's going to be on my own but in co-op it's certainly going to make things much more interesting So anyway, can't wait for that to come out and I'm sure that's only a matter of what perhaps a day a few days away perhaps even a week I'm not really sure it, it looked pretty uh, solid from what I saw gameplay wise so very excited times I'm getting some good um, iron out of this little trip today. I feel like I should probably swim back across while I'm ahead and deposit all of the uh, all of my goodies because it only takes a wolf coming over at the wrong time such as this one and that could all be out the window <laughs> so yeah let's uh Let's maybe swim back over towards home. And it'd be nice to be there if we did get a raid today. And uh, bearing in mind that last time out... <gasps> oh, there's, there's hunters, um, there's rogues in the river, can you see? Just over there. Three of them standing in the river. That's pretty cool. 
There is a rogue um, fire over there somewhere, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, but as I say, I'm not too sure how I feel about going up against that kind of force of, of uh, hunters in single player. Oh, I can see a hunter over there as well. Amazing how far you can see them from. Actually, is he running? He looked like he could have been running. Let's get this crate and we'll get everything inside and get up into a window and have a look. Right, and I've done a little bit more um, alloy sheets down here by the way as well, so... Uh, yeah, that'll do. Let's turn you on. Looks like we didn't get much ammo out of that. But a few, few materials. Um, some gears, very interestingly. Uh, a few feathers. Um, we'll eat you and you. And a couple of seeds. Oh. Uh, how are we doing with oil fuel bricks? Yeah, we've got we've got a couple. That's fine. That's starting to work. Okay. Um, right. Let's have a look outside first. Because that guy looked like he was running to me. Oh dear. These stairs are awesome, but you have to approach them at the right angle. Now you can see why I want to go one more floor up. I need to get a view round... round these trees. Okay, so he's not particularly interested. No, I think we're good. I think we're okay. So let's have a look. Um, have I got any damage on any of these solar panels? No. And that's not really doing anything. Is everything in good repair up here? There's a little bit of damage on this wall. Not too bad. Yeah, okay. This is the one with all the windows. Little tiny bit of damage on there. Yeah, this is fine. This has really helped these windows to stop the grenades just flying in. So that's good. Okay, um, we'll need some water. Whoops. Well, that's the um, that's the mining drill. It sounds uncannily like some hunters running towards me. Um, right, we used our lockpick. But we did get a bit of um, medicinal tonic. Uh, right, okay, let's get some materials for doing the plants. And we'll have a look at how the mining... Oh gosh, this uh, platform's wrecked. Right, okay, we need to repair that then. Uh, let's jump off here. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. I'm stuck outside. That really made me jump again, as you would have seen. Jeez, these hunters are sneaky. Right, okay. Right, you're down. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> That would have been a perfect shot. I'm surprised him and go this side. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, you saw me jump then. Wow. Okay. Let's grab repair materials. Ooh. And we'll go and grab their bags now. So that's three hunters we've taken out today. Nice. Although you missed, unfortunately, I didn't catch the first two on camera. Well, I only took one of them out anyway. Okay, let's do this very quickly. And 
you are not very far down, but still going, so that's fine. Okay, let's watch the plants. Whoops. Wow, okay. That took quite a bit. Desperately trying not to uh, double clear. <laughs> Oh my god, that, that hunter really made me jump. That was a waste. Oh well. Okay, repair materials in here. And you, and you. And some cotton, and a bit of that, and some of this. Okay. Uh, that's enough to make another lockpick, okay. Now, do we need to eat? We're okay, actually, at the moment, so... Maybe have a potato. That'll be okay. Uh, put a couple of tomatoes away. Right, let's go and see about making a, a lockpick. So, we've got all of you. And then one, two, three, four, and pop you in here. Lockpick. So where's that taking us down power wise? Not too bad, 300 still okay. Just want to keep that kind of fairly decent. Uh, we need some seeds. I think we'll put tomatoes in again. And a bit of fertilizer is all we need, that's good. Right. I'm going to have to get used to that sound. That sound is just like there is somebody walking around or about to leap out on us, I think. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So, we'll pop you away. Let's get our lockpick out and ready. Now, shall we go on a sort of end of day? Um, log run, I think, maybe. Get a bit of a uh, bit of wood for repairs. We're using a little bit of wood up, so why not? And we can keep an eye on uh, any hunters who want to come by, coming across the water. I am aware of those uh, rogues over there. Ah, oh, so. That could be one hunter left on his own, or that could be the base that didn't bother to raid us, so hmm. either way we're okay. It will leave them alone. So are you excited about the update? Does it look good to you? Have you hopefully seen the video? Perhaps if not, maybe go and check it out. I think it looks very impressive, personally. Look at that lovely, lovely sun. <laughs> I can't resist. Okay, maybe I should concentrate on what I'm doing. Let's get a bit of, bit of wood from down here. I'm just keeping an eye to see if there is a uh, lock, another lock crate down here. Sometimes they do spawn in at the end of the day, and I thought I ran over a plant, I did. Do I want to risk going up here? Shall we? I think we can. Just have a little peek up here. There's a normal crate, which I'm going to leave. I'm just looking for locked crates. No, nope, I'm not seeing anything, and we're losing the light now, which isn't a problem, but they do get a bit harder to see. Let's 
especially in that kind of in-between time when there is some light and there isn't light, so... Okay, that's fine. We'll get a bit of wood on the way back. Okay, we've got a bear. Oh, and a nice... Uh, another black bear. I'm not being very careful here, quite honestly. I haven't really checked out my uh, surroundings and there was something down there to be sort of care careful of, so... Okay, we'll make our way back now anyway. Doesn't look like we're going to be bothered this evening. we've done okay we've got some iron we made a lock pick we got a lock crate um we've made our mining drill which we should go and check out really before we end and see where that's at um we'll have you a bit of wood to top up our stocks not too great but it's better than nothing um I'll leave the fuel bit just for a moment. Um, so, let's go and have a quick look at the mining drill. I'd say that's still going. Okay, it looks safe. <laughs> oh, my God, did you hear that? Right, okay. We want iron. 0.25 and what is that to upgrade? One rope. Alright let's go and see how we are doing for sinew. I think I used all my sinew up. Yeah we, got, we used all our sinew up to make um, to make the rope that we needed for the drilling, the, the mining drill. So I, I need one more sinew in order to upgrade that to the first level. Okay. That's okay. I can live with that. Right, how much iron have we got left? We've got another nine there. Yep, so we can make another lockpick soon. Um, we've got no sandstone, so maybe we should head out in the next episode looking for sandstone because we're going to need some um, glass fragments for repairs eventually. Those windows aren't going to aren't going to last forever. But I'm kind of aware, with that new um, video from Cole Games, if he is going to allow us to armour doors, we're going to need alloy sheets as well. So as you'll notice, I've done all the way around this room, apart from this one corner here. And in fact, what I was sort of thinking of doing here, maybe, was pushing this wall out a little bit and putting a little sidewall here to make um, to make access to those um, power storage things hmm. yeah I wonder if there's also a way of putting in half a set of stairs or something so that I can reach that mining drill without having to go outside so what I'm thinking is, um, instead of that foundation, uh, put a set of stairs down from this point. Um, put a half ceiling in to actually stand those um, items on. These things out here. A half ceiling would do the job nicely, I think. Yeah. I hope we've got enough stuff to do this. Let's have a quick look. I didn't need to pick all of that up, but still. Right, okay, wood ceiling, half ceiling, and then foundation, stairs, and we'd need a wall, wouldn't we? Another wall. Yeah. 
Okay, bear with me. Let's try this out. <laughs> it might be a bit fiddly, but we'll, we'll give it a go. So what I'm thinking of is, if I crouch here, if I move this, and clip it in here, Okay, so that's my upstairsy bit, my uh, ceiling if you like, for want of a better term. And then if I move this and push that back, uh, can I stand on that maybe? And then crouch and then push that back there, like that. Now, can I reach that from here? I can. So if I put a quarter... Okay, let's put a quarter um, ceiling in, maybe. I could even put a half and overlap it. How many pieces of materials is that to... I suppose we could do that. And let's put this in. Actually, I don't even need that, do I? Because um, I'm going to move this one. But I could just come out here and do this. And then it's doubly protected. Okay, let's do that then. So I'm going to need something like this here. But this is going to be really tricky for me to build needs to snap there. Stuck outside there. Let's go back. I might meddle with this a little bit more. I was going to take that wall out but actually looking at this this could be beneficial to keep that wall in place for protection. And then maybe try and get that in there somehow. Um, Maybe like that? That would be okay. I can still sort of, you know, walk and move. And I could actually, really, if I really wanted to, move this into the gap. So it's just a little bit better p positioned for me. Something like that. Whoa. How about that? Nice. That'll do. I could even put another half wall and kind of overlap it there, but a uh, half ceiling and overlap it there. That works. I'm happy with that. Okay. Right, let's put everything away and I think that's where we're going to end the episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.